It is the most ambitious project GDOT has taken on in decades, adding express lanes to the top end perimeter. But the scope, the size, and how long it'll take are just a few things leaving people living in the affected communities worried. Crash Clark takes a closer look at the project and the concerns. Elevated express lanes already in use in Cobb County, but on 285, they'll be on both sides of the freeway, stretching from Paces Ferry in Cobb County all the way to Henderson Road in DeKalb, along with a section of State Road 400. When I bought my house 20 some odd years ago, obviously 285 was there. I really didn't think there was space for them to widen it, and even worse, they're gonna go up. It's not just express lanes here, we're going up. Talk about that. Sure, uh, I wish we could keep everything at grade, but in this corridor is so highly developed, there's commercial residential on both north and south side of 285. We really have to go elevated. GDOT says the project promises to cut 6,000 hours each day of wasted time in traffic for drivers. That's because they'll be adding 79 new lane miles. It also hopes to cut travel time nearly in half for transit vehicles and hopefully make 285 safer. But when it's towering over your backyard, it's a little hard to see the benefits. I thought of trucks 25, 35, 45 feet above my house. It's not the view I really wanted. And we're mainly concerned right now about the noise. Noise affects our life, our property value. And many of the folks we talk to feel like they're just not getting the answers they need. Still very early, a lot of the questions I asked were not fully, the answers were not fully developed which is disconcerting because I'm very close to the, the impacted area and that's what I'm trying to decide to make decisions on what to do and whether to stay or not. You can share your thoughts and concerns today from noon until 2 p.m. and again from 4.30 to 7.30 p.m. It is at the Cobb Galleria. The entire project is expected to be finished in 2032. So that's 12 years from now. I'll be honest with you, I try to stay off of 285, but if, if the express lanes have helped 85 and 75, then I'm all for this. Yeah. But I, I generally, 285 is, needs help. Well, <laughs> and, and they do. The thing, the, the thing is, they're, you know, you've already got construction in that same area, 285 and 400. Oh, yeah, that is a yeah, major yeah, project absolutely. that has been going on. And if you ride up there, you'll see that they've had to clear mm -hmm. land right next to apartments and houses. Oh, so yeah. that's what the concern is, is that we're already disrupted. And now you're going to add more construction on top of that. So yeah. you can see why people are concerned. They do put up those sound walls once the construction's mm -hmm. finished mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to protect you from traffic noise. But mm -hmm. in the meantime, they've got construction noise to deal with. So Ugh, it's a lot going on the future, up there. Right? Crash and I both live up in that area. We monitor it every day back and forth. I do too, yeah. yeah.